You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. What's going on, NASCAR Authentics Collectors and Diecast Reviewers on YouTube? This is Orange Rib right here, and welcome to another NASCAR Authentics Diecast Review on my YouTube channel. And today we're reviewing a car from Wave 8. Oh my god, I know what you're thinking. What? Why are you reviewing a car that old, Brian? Well, it is something that has been long overdue, and you know, this driver's already, you know, uh, you know, all, all over the topic on Fox and freaking uh, <laughs> NASCAR media. So, might as well join on the freaking, uh, you know, on the freaking page because why not guys why not after all i do diecast news so might as well guys might as well anyways guys we're gonna go ahead and do a nascar Thunder diecast review on the one and only Deanna patrick's 2017 uh, wonder woman csu one cure ford fusion for stuart haas racing wow that was almost a fail right there but this is a uh, pretty unique car that I got from uh, one of my Walmarts, which I have not been in forever. So that's why it explains I <laughs> finally picked up this car. But hopefully you guys are going to get some good entertainment out of this. And uh, I do got to point out uh, some differences in this packaging. Now, usually we have the driver's name right here, but decided to put uh, the Wonder Woman uh, logo on here instead of Danica Patrick. Hmm, interesting. Didn't know, uh, well, you know, well, let's start a debate. Who's better, Danica Patrick or Wonder Woman? That should be pretty easy, guys. But, you know, some Danica fans are probably going to, uh, you know, go for the obvious. But I uh, see right there the DC logo as well. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at the back. Oh, yeah, this is very old. Look at this Wave 8. And there's the standard licensing rights uh, from DC and Warner Brothers because this is a, uh, a car that, you know, is made. This is a movie car. That's why I was trying to say. But there is uh, all the cars that you get from Wave 8 along with the two NHRA diecast, which I still have not reviewed yet. So pretty cool right there, guys. But without further ado, we're going to go and unbox this bad boy and we're going to take a closer look at the Danica Patrick Wonder Woman car. Alrighty, guys. I hope you guys are wondering how we're going to be doing this diecast review. Oh, God, Brian, why are you doing these puns again? You should know better. You should know better. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, we got this uh, wonderful lady outfits box. And, uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to stop with these puns before you guys are going to completely harass me in the comments for that. But we're going to go ahead and look at the little accessory and trinket that comes with this. And it is actually a magnet, guys. And it is a Wonder Woman magnet. So pretty cool with the right touch we got right there. We got the Wonder Woman uh we got actual Wonder Woman herself right there, and number 10, Dan Kapatrick, and the Wonder, Wo Wonder Woman logo right behind it. And we actually got some uh, licensing uh, um, information as well, because, you know, this is a movie car, so they have to have that on there for obvious reasons. And the back is a magnet, so you guys can stick this to your mini fridge or refrigerator and look at how wonderful uh, Dan Kapatrick and the Wonder Woman is. So... But back to the diecast, guys. This is a pretty interesting car, guys. I mean, yeah, she drove this car at Kansas, and we all know what happened in Kansas, but, you know, is what it is. Kind of ironic that the car, the car that she crashed, <laughs> the, the car that she crashed is the driver that she actually crashed with, Eric Amarola. So I sent some irony right there, but, you know, it, 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 you know, it, was, it, it, it did that in her interview as well during that race uh, don't get me started on it <laughs> you know Danica Patrick but still a pretty cool looking car and we got a paint chip right there as well so uh yeah Lionel's quality I love that but um yeah really cool looking painting guys this is actually uh both sides are different uh you can actually see what I'm talking about right here um you can look at this side and it does look different from the other but um yeah she did drove this car and she was running pretty well at Kansas until she got into that crash with uh, Eric Amarola and Joey Logano that scary horrific wreck with uh, <laughs> Eric with uh, Eric Amarola. So, you know, th th this car, you know, <laughs> if you're if you're a Danica fan, this one is going to be pretty cool to get. But if you're a hardcore Danica fan, which not many people might be out there, but you guys know what I mean, this car might be a little hard to watch after what happened. Seeing this car only ran at that one Kansas race, and there's the bottom of the diecast, pretty nice right there, but. I do like this paint scheme though. This paint scheme is definitely unique. It definitely screams out superhero already. Uh, I mean, you have to see right there. That's definition of badass right there. You got the fire, and then you know you got the sky because you know Wonder Woman. Uh, I think she flies. I think. Nope, that's Superman, Brian. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this right out of the bat, guys. I am a Marvel fan. I'm sorry. I I'm starting. A a let's start a comment war. Who are your guys' favorites? DC versus Marvel already. And if so, feel free to post your favorite superhero as well. For me, 
you know, Batman's cool and all. I think Superheels kind of, uh, I, I, yeah, Superheels are lame. Yeah, yeah. Tell, I'm gonna get totally roasted now. Superman's kind of lame. Wonder Woman, you know, I think she's pretty cool. I mean, you know, it's cool we have a female superhero and she does, you know, look, uh, you know, she's got the looks. I can say that for that myself. But uh, <laughs> um, and speaking of superhero diecast guys, we're actually uh, we're gonna have a little Justice League party right here. And it is actually, uh, we got uh, some Henrik cars from uh, a few years ago, from 2016, guys. So it's right there. We're actually, we're going to sandwich her in there. So we got, um, this could be a really cool uh, triple die cast comparison. But we got the Jimmy Johnson Superman car and the Dale Earnhardt Jr. Batman car. So if you guys already have these, uh, you know, these uh, infamous uh, <laughs> Batman versus Superman cars, and this is a great collection, guys. And then plus, we also got the Justice League cars that just came in from Wave 11. I haven't picked those up, and I think I'm not going to review those guys. But if you guys really do want to see them, then I probably will. I mean, you know, I, I already have the Batman or Superman cars. I don't really see a point in buying those Justice League cars. But if you guys do want to get those, then that's cool. But this is the next best option if you guys can't find those Justice League cars, even though <laughs> Wave 11 already out, out in stores. But yeah, here's a diecast comparison, guys. Um, I mean, uh, really cool looking, uh, interesting diecast that we got. But you can clearly see uh, as I, this is such a fail going on right here. Too many diecasts all in one photo, guys. Too many. I should have been more organized for this. But yeah, guys, this is a really cool looking, uh, you know, it, I mean, you know, it's cool and interesting. But is it my favorite Danica car? Not really. Not really. I mean, it is better. It's probably the strongest NASCAR Athletics car that we've got from, um, for 2017 because we only had her nature's bakery car um which you know that was technically a fantasy car because she never drove that car um because you know nature's bakery decided to drop out that sponsorship and they didn't pay their um dues <clears throat> and sponsorship and all that and we also had the tax act car as well which you know i did pick up both those cars and you know i don't know i feel like this might be the strongest yankee card to get i mean if they release their aspen dental car which that's not going to happen because 2017 uh nascar thanks cars are long over are long overdue now then you know it is what it is but i will have to say though is this an improvement over the batman versus superman cars i say you know at least this car is <laughs> not symmetrical all right in the paint scheme i mean if you look at the batman versus superman cars they are the same painting on both sides which is cool now but I don't mind some variety and change, guys. And, you know, that, that, that's pretty cool that they decided to change the paint scheme up. I'm surprised that Dan Patrick got away with that because they had to force the Justice League cars that Casey Kane and Dale Jr. drove at the uh, Texas playoff race. They had to change it because, um, you know, it's two sides were completely different on both of those cars. So that's maybe another reason why I didn't get the, um, <laughs> the um, Justice League cars from Wave 11 because those are technically fantasy cars because that's not the actual cars that drove. But can't blame Lionel for that because that is what Henry Motorsports gave the team. That, that That's what the team gave to uh, Lionel and that's what, how they got the diecast produced. But... Overall, guys, I mean, what more can I say about this car? I mean, uh, you know, Danica Patrick, she's about to, you know, run her last ride at Daytona, and then she's going to run the 8500. Probably her, her die casts are going to go up in value. Hopefully not, but she does sell merchandise, and I do got to respect that. So, yeah, Danica Patrick's one woman, one woman car. I say, if you can find it, go out and get it. If you can't, then you're not really missing out, but it is, you know, it's one of those cars that I would slightly recommend. I mean, it, you don't have to get it. I mean, but it is what it is, guys. But that's all I got to say about Danica Patrick's 2017 Wonder Woman Ford Fusion for Store Pass Racing. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this diecast review, as long as my other diecast reviews, feel free to hit that subscribe button and make sure to click that uh, bell icon for all the notifications so you guys stay up to date on any NASCAR Authentics diecast review and many more to come, guys. But uh, if you have guys, comment, like, subscribe, and share, and I will catch you guys on the next NASCAR Authentics diecast review.